Good morning, everybody. Grace and peace to you from our Lord Jesus Christ and all the saints here in uh, Central California. All you, all you atheists can click off, except for that one really cool atheist out there that says he doesn't care if I mention Jesus. So, good on you, man. Um, so, coming to you this morning, uh, the week after our crowd strike debacle. Um, I got to give you a little apology. I didn't have a video come out this past Sunday uh, because I was out relaxing. Uh, if, you, if you caught the short I uploaded uh, of the waves in the ocean, that's where we were. I took my wife over to uh, the coast, central coast, and uh, we just kind of relaxed a little bit, did some touristy stuff, relaxed some more. <laughs> and... Uh, yeah, so I just needed I needed to decompress after the whole uh, crowd strike thing, and so did she. She she hadn't seen me all weekend, so we took a weekend off together. And uh, surprisingly, she actually likes me. I don't know, go figure. Some people. So what am I doing today? So today I have um, well actually beginning yesterday. Sorry for the shot at camera work. Um, we got a new switch here. It's an Extreme 5520. What these things are called? 5520. And uh, I am configuring this up to be another switch on our patient vitals network. Um, our biomed guys plug bedside monitors. Some some use wireless in some areas, and then some places where the beds are fixed and they don't. They're, not much turnover in that area. They'll use Ethernet to get the uh, patient vitals back to the uh, servers. So I got this switch right here temporarily to go to these switches up here. And these switches kind of work together redundantly. Um, I connect this switch across both of those two using what's called an MLAG or a multi, multi, multi link aggregate connection whatever it's called. Um, so it's an MLAG. It's basically a way to set up an aggregate link across two separate switches. You're spanning it across the two switches. So that's what we do here. So this, I'm just testing it this morning. I put the config in yesterday. From this, this side, it's just a standard. Um, in the old Enterosys lingo, it would be a, uh, a lag. The new Enterosys lingo, it's a shared port. So I set up port sharing across um, actually all four of these ports here on the end. I'm only using two of them, probably only ever will use two, but those two other two ports, you know, if this port dies for some reason, you could move a fiber over to it and continue using the same shared port. Or you could just add two more if you wanted more speed. If you need, if you need it 40 gig for some reason, you could add that and uh, and have that extra speed and extra redundancy. So I have one fiber connected up here to the top switch, one connected down here to the bottom switch. And I was just testing it and everything seems to uh, be running really good. So uh, what I'm going to do next, this is why I have kind of long fibers here, and I'll probably make this a part two, is we're going to connect these fibers over to this patch panel somewhere which I've got to locate and um, see which one would it be see if I can locate it right now uh, nope they are not labeled that well on the outside so it's going to be basically one of these patch panels they're labeled a lot better behind the, the little doors here but I don't want to open it up because apparently some of you think I give away too much information so I'm not going to give away too much information um, going to patch that in and then I'm going to pull this switch back out. In fact, I'm probably going to pull it out right now and uh, we'll take that over to the uh, to the room it's going to and uh, we'll pick up from over there. So sit tight. I'll be right back. All right. So oh, I found the fibers now. Yeah, I know all the fiber guys out there are screaming a primal scream. No! But here's what I'm doing. I'm uh, just going to loop these temporarily. 
up through here. And uh, this is where they plug in. I'm going to plug them in way down here because I haven't used these fibers at all. So I'm going to plug it in there. I can leave everything kind of dirty and disconnected right now. And uh, we're going to head on over to that room and see if I can find those fibers. Since they are plugged into the switch right there, I should be able to locate the fibers using my phone. So, or just by plugging the switch in. We'll see which one, let's we'll see which one I actually do. All right, we'll be right back. We're almost there. I had to stop and get coffee. The closet's right up there. So we'll be there in just a minute. Sit tight. Okay, we are here. And uh, I'm just gonna, I've shown this before, but I'm gonna show it again. This is the way I mount a switch. Um, lucky that I got lots of room over here. And if I have the room, what I like to do is put a couple of screws in here and just rest the mounting ears on it. Put them right below where the mounting ears are gonna go and screw them almost all the way in, just enough to uh, put those metal mounting ears behind the head of the screw and it'll just sit there real nice while you put those screws in. Those screws I'm gonna put in on the bottoms first because the weight of the switch naturally wants to rock down in the back and forward in the front. So if I put the screws in this bottom hole here, it's not gonna to wanna to rock forward. As soon as those screws in are in and, and snugged up a little bit, the switch is gonna stay level and it's real easy to put the top screws in after that. So, but I do need two hands and I don't wanna to have to set you down and just have you stare at the ceiling, so be right back. Okay, so as I was saying, show you what I did here. This is the screw that the mounting ear was resting on. Here's the bottom screw. And same for over here. It's hard to see in this low light, but there's the screw it was resting on. There's the bottom screw. Now it's real easy to put the top screw in and then I'll just take these bottom screws out and put them in the rack lower down somewhere just to save them for later. Oh, and uh, pro tip, don't use one of these. Use one of these. So much easier. Anyway, be right back. Um, well, you can watch me screw that in, I guess. Hang on. You're not going to be able to see much, but I have to just get to see a little bit of work. So let's take this one out. Put it up here in the top. go you can't see me but whoops you can hear what I'm doing although I can't see what I'm doing because the light is glaring on the mounting rail lined up not going to work. We might have to move this up because I think I just jacked up this hole. I'll mechanically mine it out there going, oh, I know you jacked up that hole. Yeah, me too. Let me try this. Let's try to get a screw. Maybe get this phony baloney washer off of here. And let's try to jack it up again. There we go. At least that one went in. Use a regular drill though, don't use a hammer drill. Don't be me. All right, let's get back over here and we'll wrap up. 
There's still a couple things I have to do. So I gotta go, I left my fibers back at the shop and my labels. So I didn't even have anything to, to label the switch here. So, but anyway, the switch is there. It's not going anywhere. And we are going to cable it up to these guys right there. Or is it right there? These, these fiber patch on the end. We'll just run it right around the outside and over there. And uh, we'll test it. And that will be it for this little project. Um, why are we adding, like I said, we're, we're ex the reason we're adding this, if I didn't say it already, I think I did, is um, to expand out our, our emergency department. So before you ask, no, we don't use those. They're just sitting there doing nothing. Um, so anyway, and, and we don't use these either. So that's all I got. Um, like I said, I'm going to label that switch, power, uh, power it up and test it. I also left my other power cord back at the shop. So I got to go get one more power cord and, uh, and we'll call it good. So, uh, oh, and one more at the CrowdStrike wrap up. We did have a meeting at work and had a kind of a lessons learned. Um, any of you guys that were affected by CrowdStrike, <laughs> Clown Shriek, Clown Strike, um, I hope you guys had a little lessons learned after that too. Uh, most of our lessons learned were in just communicating to the end users what we were doing. Um, we did send out an initial notification, but we never follow up. And the CIO admitted that was on him, so uh, nobody took the blame for that. So anyway, um, yeah, and to the people that say, oh, I know what kind of switches you use, I know what kind of routers you use, well, <laughs> we don't really have routers per se. Um, I know what kind of firewall you have and all that. Yeah, yeah to that end, I'm going to have a discussion with our security officer and see what I can and cannot mention, what I can and cannot show in the videos, or if I can even continue the videos because thanks to some of you out there, you're scaring me. Um, say, well, I'm, I'm gonna hack your network. Why? Why would you do that? To teach me a lesson? I'm stupid. You're never gonna teach me anything. I'm dumb. You're smarter than me, I admit it. There's no need to try and hack our network. You're smarter. All of you are smarter than me. I got this job on <laughs> sheer luck. Well, not sheer luck. Uh, providence, sheer providence. So anyway, uh, we'll, we'll talk to him and see what I can and can't show. So the videos might change going forward um, just because some of the uh, veiled threats I've been receiving. So, you know, that's why we can't have anything nice because there's always somebody out there that just, you know, like, like the people that don't want me mentioning Jesus, they wanna, they wanna break into my network just to prove a point to whomever, I guess. I don't know who they're trying to impress, but, uh, Anyway, they got nothing else going on in their lives, so that's that's all they got. So, anyway, hopefully uh, things won't change much, and he'll just give me some ideas, and he won't just put the whole kibosh on it altogether. So, that's all I got for this week on that heavy note. Um, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching. Click the like button. Click the notification bell if you want to see when and if any more of these videos come out. And uh, we'll catch you guys all next week. God bless.